there. That's the new age Punisher B-Boy, Eric. Oh, and look at Acid. Is he nuts? Is he crazy? He is mocking homicide. He is mocking the thug gangster lifestyle of the 187 homicide. Well, Eric, after what homicide did the Trent Acid may have very well costed him a repeat as best of the best champion less than one month ago right here at the CZW Arena. Look at him, he's got his hair done in braids. He's crazy. He is just edging him on that much more. These two just don't like each other one bit. This match is the epitome of a grudge match, John. Two guys with a rivalry. And look at Acid. He's mocking him. I mean, come on, Eric, let's face it. Trent Acid is from the hood. He's from South Philly, Japan. It doesn't get any more decrepit, any more dirty, and any more stinky as South Philly, Japan does. Homicide is from the streets, John. The streets of Brooklyn, New York. He had to fight for his meals. He had to fight for survival. He lives in a different environment than you, I, or Mr. Aceto in there right now. This homicide will do whatever it takes. You don't mock a man like homicide. He's already over the and edge. Let me tell you something, Eric. When I crossed that Walt Whitman Bridge coming from Jersey, as I paid a toll at the Whitman, it smells like piss as soon as you it's get over the bridge. It sure does. How would you like to live there? What a mockery. He's making a mockery out of the 187 homicide. Trent Acid is not as scared of homicide. He's a former best of the best champion, former unified CZW Big Japan World Junior Heavyweight Champion, and he's currently one half of the CZW Tag Team Champions. Well, since you're bragging about the record of Trent Acid, how about the fact that Trent Acid is two and three in singles competition in the year 2003. Two wins, three losses so far this year, big man. But Eric, they ain't got nothing to do with it. Two got... wins, three losses. He got gold around his waist. That's tag team gold. And he hasn't defended the belt once, damn it. What's he doing? What a mockery. What a mockery. Look at the women just giving them money. They want to touch them. What a mockery. Hustling. I told you, he's from the hood, too. This is insane, John. You don't push a man like Homicide. You just don't do that. That's true, Eric. That is true. I agree. I'll tell you what. He's got a point, John. This is personal, John. This is truly personal. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Maybe, Eric. He may be, John. This is going to be hard, John. This is going to be a hard-hitting matchup. This homicide doesn't fool around. Oh, and look at the
the look on that man's face. Does that man look like a comedy act? Does that man look like a guy you want to make fun of? No, that man should be in prison. That man should be in cuffs. He's on parole, John. He had to get clearance to cross state lines from his parole officer. Yeah, well, he broke the law when he attacked Trent Asin back in best of the best three. It costed him his semifinal matchup. Homicide can wrestle you every different style that you can think of. He can bring it to you strong style. He can get down with the submissions. He's got a nasty STF. He's got a shining wizard that has knocked out some of the best in this business. And he Eric, can fly around with that poetic tope. And John, he can get down and dirty as a, as a deathmatch wrestler if he wants to. In another promotion years ago, he gave Trent Acid 27 staples to the head. And Eric, this is the matchup everyone's been waiting for. The shit is about to hit the fan here at the CZW Arena and right here on Fake You TV. There have been some classic grudge matches over the years in this building. Taz and Sabu, Tommy Dreamer and Raven. And tonight, a new chapter will be written in grudge matches as we present here on Fake You TV, Trent Acid and Homicide. Trent Acid now taking his time. And Eric, I don't see Homicide jumping on Trent Acid while he's facing him face to face. He's gonna wait till his back is turned. Well, I'll tell you what, he made a lot of points in the ring earlier, John. The ratings in Japan, they've brought down Big Japan is practically in the toilet. Since Trent, Yakuza kick, Yakuza kick. He's not fooling around. He's not fooling around at all, John. It's on, it's on here. What a chair to the head. That's infringement, Eric. He's not screwing around tonight, John. Save the drama for your mama. And it's not about that, John. And Homicide has to stay on top of Trent Asset. Don't give him a break. If he does, it can the be a right. tope, poetic tope. He's and this place John. is going nuts. They're on their feet. He's damn good. He's had it, John. Trent Acid won the Big Japan Junior Heavyweight Championship on December 15, 2002, and never lost that belt. Homicide won the Big Japan Junior Heavyweight Championship on November 2, 2003, and never lost that belt. But he never beat Trent Acid for that belt. Wherever he went in Japan, the press told Homicide he was a fake champion. He was a phony. Trent Acid was the two, true champion. He's sick oh. and tired of hearing about it. Big knee to the face there on the Trent Acid. Our international superstar, Eric, I have to admit it, is in a lot of trouble so far early on in this matchup. A lot of guys have walked into CZW and have made Trent Acid a marked man. But we have seen Trent Acid go through all of them. Will he do it tonight against Homicide? Homicide is an altogether different challenge here. This is a dream match, John. A dream match for hardcore wrestling fans. And this is the type of action you're going to see on June the 14th as we're back live at the CZW Arena in South Philadelphia. And Homicide's back. Just smacked that concrete floor here at the CZW Arena. And Trent Acid is the same way. Homicide gets him with a forearm. Trent Acid is the same way a hybrid wrestler. He's a high flyer. He's a striker. He's a submissions wrestler. He can get it. He can become a deathmatch wrestler if he needs to. He's been in CZW for uh -oh. a long time. Oh, is he? Oh. Something new out of the bag of tricks. A, a textbook moves out there by Trent Acid, taking Homicide out on that concrete floor. The longest reigning junior heavyweight champion in the history of our company. Had such an impressive record for 18 months. Trent Acid tonight needs to beat Homicide to silence the critics. Homicide needs to beat Trent Acid tonight to silence his critics. In their last meeting in another promotion, in a tag team match, Trent Acid pinned Homicide. Homicide has yet to pin Trent Acid. Trent Acid now working over Homicide on the outside, driving his head right into the timekeeper's table there. Now throwing him back into the ring, where in my opinion, the match goes into the favor of Trent Acid if that match stays in the ring. Oh, absolutely, John. Believe me when I tell you, Trent Acid has thought about those 27 staples in his head for a long time. Here's a guy that likes to look at himself in the mirror, but he sees those scars every time from Homicide. Instead of leaving a card, Homicide just leaves scars behind. Trent Acid now choking Homicide in that corner. Logan right on top of things there, making him release that hold. Homicide down. 
Who knows if we'll ever even see Homicide again. This is a one-night contract with CZW for Homicide and Trent Acid. Bringing the match that the fans demanded, John. Trent Acid ducks that big right hand, jumps over, rolls over, lands on his feet. Super, oh, super kick. kick. He caught him with that super kick. What a oh. fast pace, John. Double knee charge. <laughs> Trent Acid representing the high five. Missile drop kick. We already saw B-Boy. Where are the rest of the high five, John? We see them before the end of the night. DDT. Swing and DDT. The old delay. We got a two. We got to hurry up. Oh. And John, in the past, we've seen Trent Acid like to take a more lethargic pace. He likes to take a slower pace. Let his opponents think about it. But tonight, a very fast pace out of Trent Acid. Homicide had enough presence of mind to drape his foot over that second rope to break up that count. Trent Acid then putting on that chokehold. It is personal between these two. Trent Acid blames Homicide as he should for costing him best of the best. Homicide wants to silence his critics. Homicide, a true athlete, turned down a scholarship for the University of Miami football program to stay home and take care of his family. That is the kind of athlete this man is. Trent Acid now wearing him down, trying to change the momentum of this matchup. Big right hand there by Trent Acid. Goes right back to the, he goes right back to choking him out. This might be a smart move. He's trying try to cut some of that air circulation. I'll tell you what, John, for a lot of the 10 years that wrestling has been in this building, Trent Acid watched from the crowd as a fan for those first few years. But tonight, he plans to be a part of history. Trent Acid ducks that close on. That's the brains there. Look, he's showing you. Once again for that DDT. Uh -oh. Oh! Suplex through the light salto. Right into that corner, that corner turnbuckle. And things aren't looking good right now for Trent Acid. And believe me, Homicide can get nasty if he needs it. You better watch it, John. He can bring a chair in there. He can bring a table in there. I've seen him spike people. I've seen him take a spike and drive it into somebody's head. He doesn't care about his opponent. Homicide spiking Trent Acid. Great find that leg. He got a two count. Homicide has to, has to stay on top of Trent Acid. Oh, he's calling for the end. And he's slapping him. That's how personal this is. What are they trying to do? Pull out his dreadlocks? Maybe. That's a mockery. He's making a mockery out of homicide. Uh -oh. oh, he's going for the cop killer. He's going for the cop killer. We saw him nail Trent Acid with the last one. Well time. scouted there by Trent Acid. Blue Thunder Driver. Blue Thunder Driver. One, two, it's over. No. That's been a long time since I've seen Trent Acid go for a pin that early in a matchup. That is how bad he wants to end it. And that is how seriously he is taking the challenge on of Homicide. Trying to ask him now. Looks like he's setting him up for a suplex. He's got him up. Oh, no! Falcon Arrow. Covered. No, not enough. Got a two count there. Homicide now rolls out of the ring. Homicide, a 10-year veteran at 5'9", 210 pounds. Trent Acid has the most wins ever in combat zone wrestling history. He would, without a doubt, arguably, be the most successful singles wrestler here in CZW, the most successful junior heavyweight, bar none. He pioneered the junior heavyweight division. DDT right onto the ring apron. But he has never had to face the challenge of a man like Homicide. Homicide right now is down on that concrete floor after that DDT, onto the corner of that canvas by Trent Asset. What's Dewey doing? Believe me, you don't want to get hardcore with this guy. Don't you worry about what Dewey Donovan's doing. He's doing his job. He's opening up he, the wrong door. He is the manager of champions. He's opening up the wrong door. Everyone in his family is a champion. He's opening up the wrong door tonight, John. Bring that table in the ring. Believe me, over the 10 years, a lot of tables have been broken in this building. But we may, we may see a table broken tonight at the expense of the body of Trent Acid. Trent Acid now, keeping Homicide down off of his feet. What a fast pace these two have set here tonight in Viking Hall. Trent Acid now rolling Homicide back into that ring. Has that table set up right in the center of the ring. Trent Acid may come out here acting arrogant and cocky. You want to know how seriously he takes his challenge? Look at the body of Trent Acid. He must have put on five to 10 pounds of pure muscle since the last time we saw him a month ago. Trent Acid laying those big clubbing forearms into the chest of Homicide. Unaware of Homicide getting up. Homicide catches Trent Acid on that top rope. Homicide's a champion too, John. 
He has that championship instinct, just like Trent Acid. They're both up top. What incredible balance. A Hama champ through the table. Listen to this crowd. What a grudge match. What a grudge match. What? He's out the way. Out. He's going to the ball. Two count there. Trent Acid kicks out. Where he got it from, Eric? Nobody knows, but he kicked out. Both men. Big Japan, Ju Big Japan Junior heavyweight champion. Listen to this crowd. It's split 50-50 down the middle. CZW loyalists cheering for Acid. A Yakuza kick out of Homicide. Look at him looking in the face. A Yakuza kick from Trent Acid. Uh-oh. Trent Acid now playing the game of Homicide. Taking this match strong style. Yeah, get him! Taking this match oh, strong style. Bam! Yakuza kick. Homicide wobbly. Yakuza kick again. Yakuza <laughs> kick. He <laughs> caught him. Yakuza on the front. He's going to run. He's going to for two. two. He's going to right run. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. God damn it. Wait a minute. What a match. What a matchup. I can't Every, believe it. I can't believe it. Every second that elapses here in this matchup is another second ring written into the chapter of the history of Viking Hall. Listen to this crowd. Trent Acid now pushes Homicide back in the corner. Chopping Homicide. He's going for the acid bomb. We haven't seen the oh, acid he's bomb. He's got bomb. him up. Acid bomb. Acid bomb. He nailed it. He's one, got one. Two, he two, 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 three. No, wait a minute. Down again. Look at the look on his face. Look at the look on his face. Wait a minute. What's going on here, Eric? The agony. The instinct. It took a gag fight in there. Two a minutes slow remaining. Count by Brian Logan. Two minutes remaining in the 15-minute time limit matchup. It's like a gag fight for Homicide. Like a gag fight. Trent Acid now picking up Homicide slowly. It's after a that huge Yakuza kick. Yakuza kick again. I've never seen anybody withstand the amount of Yakuza kicks. Uh oh, he's called for the end here. Stood. And another. He hooks the leg. He's got him. STF. Wait a minute. He could beat him with this. He could beat him with this. I've seen him win many matches with this move. He's going to tap. He's going to tap. Trent Aston has never tapped, John. Trent Aston has never tapped. It's CZW. Trent Aston grabs that bottom rope, forcing Homicide to release that STF. And Homicide goes back to the leg. No. He's, he's going for the roaring elbow. He nails him. Ace Crusher. Ace Crusher. Homicide. STF. STF in the center he's of the ring. He's got a in the center of that ring. He's an expert at this. He's won so many matches with this move. He's been some of the best in this sport. Won so many singles championships. And again, reaches the ropes. And again, can he hang on? Can he hang on for a few more seconds? Can he hang on for a few more seconds? He's got it locked he's in. Back. Did he tap? Did he tap? Did he tap? Again, once the match ends, still nobody knows who is truly the better between Homicide and Trent Acid. He wants the mic. To draw. So close. He was so close, John. It's more of history tonight in Viking Hall. What a tribute to the 10 years of Viking Hall. I wouldn't do it, Eric. Hey. Let's be reasonable for a second. Let's be what? Well, they do boo him, Eric.
Because you're a man, because you're an athlete, because you're a professional, that's why. I wouldn't give it to him. Why? You wouldn't because you're a chicken. So, just to prove to myself that I'm better than you, I'll accept your problem. It's on! It's on! Five more minutes of history! Oh, Five here we go! Of history. Here we go! We go into overtime! In this matchup tonight on Fake You TV! Okay, for five minutes. And look at these two training shots by two heavyweights in the 12th round. Homicide with an exploder. Homicide goes for a cover. cover. He got a two count there. Picking up Trent Acid. Trent Acid goes right for the eyes. Big kicks it to the midsection. Rory Elbow. What an evenly matched, John. Would Trent Acid have tapped, John? Would he have tapped? I don't think so, Eric. Trent Acid has never tapped here at CZW. Homicide still doesn't know if he is better than Trent Acid or not. Trent Acid still doesn't know whether he is better than Homicide or not. Homicide now has Trent Acid. Maybe for a superplex. Looks like he's setting him up for something. Trent Acid trying to fight back with big blows into the midsection. Shoves off Homicide. Back into the middle of that ring. Trying to sit up top. Oh! Belly to belly! Bam! Belly to belly! Overhead! Glover! He's gonna make it! No! I thought that was, was gonna close. make it happen. That was close. This is the kind of match you'll be telling your children about 10 years from now on the 20 year anniversary of Viking Hall. You'll be telling them about the night that Trent Acid and Homicide wrestled a classic. Trying to ask it now. Homicide picking him up, setting him up on that top turnbuckle. Inside that corner, Let's these fans of the CZW Arena are going nuts. Eric and Rana, it's going to make it happen, though. What a matchup, John. What a damn matchup. I can't believe it. No high five tonight. No shady interference out of Brian Logan. Just clean down the middle. I love it. This is the way it should be. Uh-oh. I'm aside for the cop killer. No, backslide. Backslide. Got a two count there. Uh-oh. I'm trying, to again. trying for another one. Grass and fireman's carry takeover. Into a bridge. No. What a chess match tonight, John. What a chess match. They've given each other their best. But it's, it's just a shame that someone's going to lose this match. Yakuza kick. He missed. Oh! Low blow there by Homicide. Oh! Drop kick to the knee. Takes out that knee of Trent Asin. You know if you take out the knee, you take out that patented Yakuza kick. Absolutely. He's going to work right on that leg. The ligament's being stretched out as we speak. He's going back to the STF. Oh, no. Trent Asin counters out. out of it. He rolls out. Homicide goes right down with that boot to the midsection. Power bomb. He hangs on. He's going back to the STF. He knows he had him. He knows he had him. That's Figure the game four. Plan. What is this? That's the game plan. Go back to the STF. He's rushing back. Oh, uh, what is that, Eric? What is that? Back. It's a new version of the STF. He's going to tap. He's tearing up the ligaments. He's tearing up the ligaments. Come on, line. Dewey, do it's something. Not worth it. Do the something, STF. Dewey. The STF. Do something, he Dewey. He tapped. He tapped. I can't what believe this! The monkey off his back! The monkey off his back! He truly is the man tonight in Viking Hall! I can't believe this has happened! What a matchup, John! What a classic matchup! This match should have been over five minutes ago! What are you five talking minutes about? ago! He agreed to it! He agreed to it! Nobody read, nobody forced him! They ain't signed no nobody contract for five extra minutes! I look at Homicide, letting the crowd know about it. Congratulations. Go out to Homicide. He beat the legend. He beat the unbeatable. The unbeatable Trent Acid. Are they going to go again? Are they going to shake hands? I didn't think they did that here. Eric, what's going down? What's happening? I look at Trent Asset's leg. He's got problems. Yeah, he looks hurt, Eric. Those ligaments. He did the right thing, John. He risked his career. 
blasted out, pushing him. Wait a minute, he's telling him nobody beats me. He did. But he did beat him. What a sign of respect. What a sign of respect. What a classic. What a classic. What a tribute to 10 years of classic matches by having another one tonight on May the 10th, 2003. Oh, wait a minute, what's happening here? What a sign of respect. Mr. Nice Guy, and it's B-Boy, and it's B-Boy. You knew he was watching his back. Ha, ha, Who's watching great, Eric? Back. He what have a any night of fake you TV it is. He doesn't have any friends here, John. He's an outsider here tonight. He's an outsider here <laughs> He don't have no tonight. friends. He should be in jail, I told you. He's an outsider here tonight. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see somebody hopping the rail. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's Mafia. That's Mafia. That's Mafia! That's Mafia! Wow! Oh. The hit squad! Bam! Oh. No way! That's P Boy! That's P Boy! Mafia! Mafia is watching the back of Tread Acid! No, no, no! Once this. again, they're going down, they're gonna wrestle. No, he's out of there! Mafia, our protege, a student of the 187 homicide. He did have friends here tonight. He did have friends watching his back. That is what the gangster lifestyle is all about. Eric, I can't believe what's went down here tonight on Fake You TV. I look at Mafia. He's not even scheduled to be here. But Homicide's no dummy. He's from the streets. He's from the streets, John. He had backup. This ain't over. Everyone listening, this is not over. It's not over, Eric. It is definitely not over. If Trent Asin says it's not over, it is not over. And I'm sure this will spill into June the 14th when we're back live at the CZW Arena. But what a classic, John. What a classic night. May the 10th, 2003 will be a date that you tell your children and your grandchildren about. He's back, John. He's uh -oh. gonna be back. He's gonna be back. And Eric, that's great news. What's gonna go down on June the 14th when we're back at the CZW Arena? It's not gonna be pretty. 